Vitamin B12 Deficiency and Dementia Part 2 Dementia is a general term used to describe symptoms affecting cognitive functions like memory, thinking, and behavior. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia, and is characterized by progressive memory loss and cognitive decline. It's important to note that while Alzheimer's is a type of dementia, not all dementia cases are caused by Alzheimer's. There are other types of dementia, such as vascular dementia, Lewy body dementia, frontotemporal dementia, and more. In summary, dementia encompasses a range of cognitive symptoms, with Alzheimer's being a specific type of dementia, but not the sole cause of all dementia cases. There are many different causes of dementia, including nutritional deficiencies and heavy metal toxicities as shown in this image. Others include alcoholism, hypothyroidism, and the use of illicit or prescription drugs. All are reversible if caught early enough. These nutritional deficiencies and toxicities can impact brain health and cognitive function. Addressing them through proper nutrition and supplementation can play a role in maintaining mental well-being. However, addressing nutritional deficiencies and toxicities should be done under the guidance of a practitioner who knows what they're doing. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia, accounting for most cases. Memory loss is often one of the earlier symptoms, typically including difficulty with reading, writing, speaking, following a conversation, reasoning, calculating, organizing, and planning. Approximately 55 million people worldwide have dementia, of which the majority, 60%, is due to Alzheimer's. Clinical signs of Alzheimer's are characterized by progressive cognitive deterioration, declining activities of daily living, and neuropsychiatric symptoms or behavioral changes. Clinical features of Alzheimer's include, the amnesic type of memory impairment, deterioration of language, and visuospatial deficits, finding it hard to interpret what they see, and act appropriately. The most striking early symptom is memory loss, amnesia, which usually manifests as minor forgetfulness that becomes steadily denser with illness progression, but with relative preservation of older memories. Alzheimer's is a form of dementia marked by amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. Amyloid plaques are clumps of protein that build up between brain cells, and disrupt their function. Neurofibrillary tangles are twisted fibers inside brain cells that cause them to tangle and not work correctly. There is growing evidence that neither amyloid plaques or neurofibrillary tangles is the cause of Alzheimer's as long believed. Still nevertheless, Alzheimer's is typically diagnosed by looking for plaques and tangles. However, neither can be seen directly in the living brain. Forms of neuroimaging such as positron emission tomography, PET, and cerebrospinal fluid analysis can identify their presence. People with Alzheimer's who experience psychosis, including delusions and hallucinations, are five times more likely to be misdiagnosed with Lewy body dementia, a progressive neurodegenerative disorder, characterized by the presence of abnormal protein deposits called Lewy bodies. For example, Alzheimer's was misdiagnosed in 24% of all cases, with both false positive and false negative rates being 12%. Previous research suggested that the rate of misdiagnosis in Alzheimer's ranged from 12 to 23%. Psychosis can be a symptom of Alzheimer's. Still, it is a defining clinical feature in other types of dementia, including Parkinson's disease-related dementia, and dementia with Lewy bodies. Alzheimer's is usually diagnosed based on a patient's symptoms, which include memory loss and cognitive deficits so severe and ever-worsening, that the patient loses the ability to bathe, eat, dress without assistance, and is increasingly unable to care for themselves. Alzheimer's is defined as premature brain aging, usually beginning in mid-adult life and progressing rapidly to extreme loss of mental powers. With the current standard treatment, Alzheimer's is invariably fatal. Alzheimer's disease begins its path to destruction in the brain, decades before the onset of clinical symptoms. The condition has proven fatal, and shuts down one system after the other after diagnosis. Patients of Alzheimer's experience mental decline with a range of symptoms that may include confusion, disorientation, delusions, forgetfulness, aggression, agitation, and progressive loss of motor control. The staggering costs of Alzheimer's are projected to exceed $20 trillion in the next 40 years. 
Developing effective treatments rooted in a more thorough understanding of this complex disease, is one of the most daunting challenges facing modern medicine, and the worldwide healthcare infrastructure. A standard consistent finding in Alzheimer's, is the loss of neurons, brain cells, in the part of the limbic pathway that drives the memory process. In addition, pathologically, increased amounts of beta amyloid plaques are found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. Patients with an abnormality of a gene that controls apolipoprotein, ApoE4, a blood protein that transports cholesterol to the tissues, have accelerated beta amyloid deposition in the brain, and a significantly increased risk for Alzheimer's. ApoE4 is associated with hyperlipidemia, elevated fatty deposits, and hypercholesterolemia, elevated cholesterol levels, leading to atherosclerosis, coronary heart disease, and stroke. The ApoE4 gene has different versions, with ApoE2 and ApoE3 considered neutral or slightly protective against dementia. At the same time, ApoE4 is associated with an increased risk, particularly for Alzheimer's disease. Having one or two copies of ApoE4, raises the likelihood of developing dementia, but it doesn't guarantee the development of Alzheimer's. Roughly 20-30% to of individuals with one ApoE4 copy, may develop dementia, and around 50-60% to of those with two copies may develop dementia by age 85. However, these are estimates based on population studies, and individual risks can vary, due to other genetic and environmental factors. So not having the ApoE4 gene doesn't guarantee protection, and it's possible to develop dementia without it. While numerous nutrients can benefit Alzheimer's dementia, such as B9, folate, B6, and B1, this video will specifically focus on vitamin B12. I will add the others in part 3 of this series. B12 plays a critical role in protecting the brain from Alzheimer's disease by regulating homocysteine levels, promoting myelin production, and supporting neurotransmitter synthesis. Deficiencies in B12 can impair these functions, increasing the risk of cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's. B12 deficiency is regarded as one of the major factors leading to Alzheimer's, due to its impact on the nervous system and the various mechanisms involved in developing this condition. B12 is essential for producing myelin, the protective covering of nerve fibers. Therefore, B12 deficiency can lead to demyelination, impairing the transmission of nerve impulses, and causing cognitive dysfunction. Additionally, B12 deficiency can result in elevated levels of homocysteine, an amino acid that, at high levels, can be toxic to the nervous system. High homocysteine levels have been linked to decreased brain function and an increased risk of Alzheimer's. Therefore, maintaining adequate B12 levels is crucial for optimal brain health and reducing the risk of Alzheimer's. Please note, having a normal vitamin B12 level in the blood does not guarantee that vitamin B12 deficiency is not the cause of cognitive impairment, leading to Alzheimer's. In some studies, individuals with Alzheimer's, were found to have low levels of B12 in their cerebrospinal fluid, despite having normal B12 levels in their blood. This suggests that there may be an issue with either the transportation of B12 from the blood to the brain, or a rapid breakdown of B12 within the brain tissue. Factors such as problems with B12 transport, accelerated breakdown enzymes, or increased utilization of B12 due to underlying conditions, can cause a quick breakdown of B12 in the brain, resulting in lower levels of B12, that can contribute to cognitive impairment and neurological disorders. In simpler terms, some Alzheimer patients may have difficulties getting enough B12 into their brains, which could contribute to the progression of the disease. In addition, post-mortem assessment of brain samples from Alzheimer's patients, has shown lower levels of vitamin B12 in the brain and central nervous system, even though patient records show normal levels of B12 in the blood. Therefore, B12 deficiency would have been missed in most of these patients. Postmortem assessment of brain samples from Alzheimer's patients, also showed lower levels of acetylcholine, a key neurotransmitter responsible for forming new connections and strengthening neural pathways in the brain. B12 deficiency can lead to low levels of acetylcholine, an essential neurotransmitter in the brain. Acetylcholine is involved in various cognitive functions, including memory and learning. Adenosyl B12 is a coenzyme that aids in the enzymatic conversion of methylmalonyl CoA to succinyl CoA, a critical step in the Krebs cycle. Succinyl CoA then proceeds to form into succinate, fumarate, malate, and oxaloacetate, ultimately producing acetyl CoA. 
Acetyl-CoA is a vital building block for producing acetylcholine. Therefore, without sufficient B12, the conversion of methylmalonyl CoA to succinyl-CoA and then to acetyl-CoA, is impaired, resulting in reduced acetylcholine synthesis, and potentially leading to cognitive dysfunction. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell, to receive notifications on part 3 of this video series coming soon.